that's what Schwarzkopf got right that Arrow didn't, is he didn't try to go get into other elements. He stuck to those loops. Right. Yeah, well, the funny thing is that all Arrow loops are the same size. I know that was, like, always kind of the like the joke, but I think it's actually true. So the loops are all the same size, but the lead up into them, it changes in height based on, you know, the ride and stuff. Almost like they were literally designing an RCT. Yeah, pretty much. That's where uh, Chris Sawyer got the idea from. He consulted with Arrow, and Arrow's like, yeah, we we have all these co-hanger pieces, and you just put them on foam pegs, and then we kind of... On our lunch break, we kind of play around with them on the on the on the break table, and Mary brings in subs, and sometimes the sub pieces get stuck in between the pieces, and then we joke like that's a new element. Ah, oh, Mary, you fat ass, you ate the sandwich. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like just a typical day at Arrow Dynamics. Ron Seymour got the idea for Steel Phantom when he was taking a shit. He has little miniature pieces in the bathroom. It's like a nano coaster. Yeah. Holy shit. He's like playing with it. If we put this this way, oh my god. A loop and then a bat wing, or whatever he called it. Oh, I don't know, a boomerang? Yeah, wing, or yeah, maybe it's a boomerang. Yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, literally, like, what if we put half a corkscrew into a half a loop, then half a loop into half a corkscrew? Yeah, but I mean, I guess props to him. I mean, he was literally the only person doing it for a a minute in time. Like, that's pretty cool. 